Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and this is Cyberpunk 2077. Just revisiting this after a long time away, after the patches recently and DLC. And I was just curious to see in the, uh, the graphic settings on quick presets. Now look at this, medium high, ultra, and then one more step, Steam Deck. So that's the upcoming product from Valve, the handheld that runs on a, a local LCD screen at a resolution of 720p. Now, on the if I go to the video tab here, this is on my PC. Now my PC is quite an old one from 2014, so the graphics card in here is just a GTX 980. So it's by no means a powerhouse by modern standards. So the resolution anyway on the video settings I've set to full screen, but 720. We're going to have an aspirational FPS of 60. Now, my rig rarely gets to 60 anyway on this game at, let's say, 1080. But anyway, I'm just curious about this. Um, and the big difference when I set it to Steam Deck was um, if we look down the, the settings here, the various settings, we get motion blur, high, all these high, high, high settings, and in some cases, quite a few ultras. So this is all Steam Deck presets as they're, the devs are no doubt trialling it at the moment. Now ray tracing off, my GPU doesn't support that. It doesn't support DLSS, the uh, dynamic deep learning super sampling of NVIDIA. But we do have DRS on and we've got a target frames of 60 and this is using AMD's technology of FSR for short, Fidelity FX Super Resolution version 1. They, they have just announced version 2, but obviously the devs won't have developed that yet into the game. And then sharpening, which follows the upscaling of the resolution. So 720, but it can uh, have a minimum resolution of 70% of that internally rendered to help it perform and a maximum of the 100% of 720. And then the, if it's lower than 100, the upscaling technology kicks in to try and get it back up to target of 720. So anyway, with all that applied, and let me just make sure I've applied it all. It is all relevant and in effect, and we'll run this benchmark. So yeah, curious to see what this is like because I do have a reservation on a Steam Deck that uh, I was successful in getting, unlike many people, back on the launch day of that reservation. And it's scheduled for quarter two availability, but we'll see if there's any update to that. So here we are in the typical benchmark. We've got the overlay on the top left there of the FPS, 40, 43, bit variable. Again, my uh, my system is probably uh, less powerful than the internals of the new Steam Deck. Being uh, AMD's RDNA 2 architecture, it's far more modern than my GTX 980. Over the next couple th couple of years, perhaps, I'm thinking of upgrading this PC. By then, I hear about all sorts of new technologies on the horizon. RDNA 3, Intel's got their own graphics architecture coming out this year and will have evolved by then, uh, as will AMD and NVIDIA's. And indeed CPU architecture as well, memory, power supply demands. But this is pretty good to see the ultra settings on and highs on several of those elements of the graphics. And there it is. So an average there on my rig of close to 50 average frames per second. When I played this through on my uh, rig at 1080p back in 2019, I would get a typical average of 45 during gameplay. If I bumped it up to 2K, it would drop to in the region of 30, 30, 33, 35. But I thought that was interesting to see. Steam Deck mentioned in the graphic settings of Cyberpunk 2077. So if anybody you've got that already, you're fortunate enough to get a, a Wave 1 edition of the Steam Deck. Let me know if you've tried Cyberpunk and if this is reflective of your experience. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.